Well, Isla, it's been a long wait for everyone to get to this point to be here at the Australian Open. You threw it to the second round yet again. How does that feel in front of your, your hometown crowd? Yeah, it's a little surreal that we're here, you know, after such a long trip and um, so many unknowns. But to get to play in front of you guys again, um, it's pretty incredible. What was your preparation like uh, coming in? It was very different for everyone. Is it hard to know how you are going to perform at this point, given the preparation? Um, no, I, th I felt really confident coming in. I think I had a really good preparation, actually. Um, you know, the facility and everything was really great. So um, we got to practice on the match courts for about three weeks prior. So um, I didn't really have any excuses today. You played each other one time before, I believe, but it was back in 2015. Take us through the match. It looked like it was on your racket. What did you do well out there today? Yeah, actually, Misaki and I practiced quite a bit in the past, so we both know each other's game pretty well. Um, but for me, it was more about just staying engaged throughout the whole match and not letting up even if I was up. So I know the scoreline seems easy, but it didn't feel like it. And just finally, do you have a look at the draw? Do you know who might be coming in the next round? Uh, I don't know. Do you want me to tell you? Sure. So it's potentially Lizette Cabrera, the Aussie, or Simona Halep coming up in the next round. Uh, your thoughts? It'd be fun to play an Aussie, I suppose. Yeah, it would be fun to have an Aussie matchup in the second round because then it's guaranteed that one is through to the third. But um, I'm sure it's going to be a great match between both, and whoever wins, I'll be, I'll be ready. Well done. Congratulations. We'll see you in round two. One more Thank time. You. Isla Tomjanovic, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it would be fun to have an Aussie matchup, but I think uh, world number two, Simona Halep, will have something to say about that. Certainly, and you could hear what uh, Isla Tomlanovic said there. It wasn't easy. She couldn't let up because she had practiced a lot with Masaki Doi before, know each other well, and, and that's exactly what Isla did. She didn't let up and got the victory and threw the second round. Yes, as we were saying, for a straight set 6-2, 6-1 victory, there was a heck of a lot of tennis in there. It went for an hour and a quarter. And she draws a nice little smiley face on there.